everyone it's tammy with Lufu Fru studio and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be working on the 50 stack challenge number three and uh this challenge for those of you that aren't familiar is hosted by amy with crafty cat and on Monday, she draws out two prompts, and you're to make two pieces of ephemera using the two prompts that she draws out. Uh, she does draw those on Monday, and she has a playlist on her channel with all the previous uh, prompts, uh, the videos for her for each of the previous prompts. And I have a playlist on my channel at all uh, as well. I can't speak. This is my third video today. And I think my um, my mind is shot. <laughs> all right. So this week the prompts are your favorite holiday character and children. So we're going to start with my favorite holiday character, which of course is Santa Claus. And we're going to take Santa a little steampunk today. So this is a paper pack um, that is by, was by, is by, I don't know if it's still available or not. I got it a couple years ago and I only have a very few scraps left, um, but I was able to put something together um graphic 45 and it's uh christmas time is the name of the kit or the paper pack and it's kind of a steampunky christmas kind of thing so that's what we're going to do and i'm going to make a Kind of like a double belly band tuck sort of thing. Um, this back page will glue, would glue down on your page. This one I'm only going to glue from here down, if that makes sense. And this one, this piece. It's actually made out of the cover because I did not have a piece of this actual paper left. So, this is actu actually out of the cover of the paper pack and my glue. I've got the hiccups. So, if you hear me hiccup, I apologize. I'm trying to keep them silent. Doesn't stuff like that always happen when you're making videos? You have to sneeze or you get the hiccups or your dog starts barking. Somebody comes to the door. Any other time you don't have anything going on, but turn that camera on, you can guarantee everything is going to happen. All right, I think I want it about right there. So all I did there was glue just the top half and the re straight would have been nice. Let's see if I can get it off there real quick or straighten it up anyway. Yeah, with that being a cover and it being a little bit slicker, it gave me a little bit of movement time. Okay. So, what we're going to have there is we're going to have a tuck so we can tuck this in. Okay? And I could have really gone up a little higher. Let me stick it up just a little higher. Okay. Then the next piece I have is this piece and I'm going to put it on top of here and it's going to be a belly band. So I'm just going to glue here and here.
if I can get it straight. Alright. So now we have a tuck here and we have a belly band here. The last piece, which has our Santa on it, is going to go here. And again, it's going to be a smaller belly band. So I'm going to glue here and here. Alright, so now we have a tuck here, a belly bin here, and a belly bin here. So now what we're going to do is work on our cards. Alright, so I have three different ones. And what I want to do is I want to use these little gears as the tabs on the side. So this one's the biggest. Um, that one's maybe put that one there and that one there. Actually I need one on the top. I think I'm gonna put the biggest one there. Okay, and I'm going to attempt grommets for that. Or not grommets, brads. As soon as I can get to them. Okay. My only thing is. Yeah, I think I can poke it so that it will. Still hang over just a little bit. Oop. I can hold it steady enough. Fine one with smaller head. I'd like to find a, one of my really short ones, but I think I'm running kind of low on those. You can always cut them off if we need to. And you can always, you know, um, under normal circumstances, and definitely before I do anything with this, I would back all these so you could write on the back of them. But since we're just making for the video right now, I won't worry about it at this point. Because I can always pop Brad's back out and put it back on it. Actually, I wouldn't. I'd just put it right over the Brad's so that way they won't show. The back side of the Brad's won't show. Okay, so there's that one. And then this one we're going to put on the top. Kind of, sort of, in the middle.
that. All right, so that is that. And so this one, we're gonna tuck here. And you could even tuck it over, kind of over the card so that it stays nice and snug. Then we're gonna put the smallest one there. And we'll put the bigger one here. We'll lower this one down a little bit and raise that one up a little bit. Of course, that one, if you press all the way, it's going to be wider, wider than the card. So you may not want to press that one all the way in like we did the others. And then I have this little Marion Bright, and I'm going to put it down here, kind of, so it covers all those different pieces and kind of finishes that off a little bit. We're not going to throw it down on there, are we? No. It's kind of a mix between a throw and a drop there. And then I have these two little guys. One is just a regular one. And the other one kind of looks like a heart. And we're just going to kind of place those somewhere. Where do I want them? Maybe like that. And since I have time to let it dry, I'm just going to use art glitter glue. Okay, so there is our favorite holiday character. Now we're going to work on the second prompt, which is children. And uh, it's going to be a real simple one as well. I'm making this for a winter journal that I'm going to be working on. And this is just the scrapbook paper that has been backed with some uh, tea dye paper. And this paper kit is by I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, because I only have very little of it left. It may be Chow. I'm thinking that may be who it is. But it was, it's kind of Christmassy, but it's more winter than anything. It doesn't really have anything that has like Christmas trees or you know, anything like that on it. So it's a good one for winter. And then this is a digital that I had that is an ivory soap advertisement. And it's got these two cute little kids on a sled made out of a ivory soap shipping box. I'm just going to glue that down in the background.
And then I had a stamp that says, baby, it's cold outside. And I'm going to put it right down here. And um, I embossed it with white embossing powder. And it's just on a piece of darker cardstock that I thought matched the background of this tag. And it's got little snowflakes on it. And then I have this Tim Holtz little boy and girl who are dressed for winter. Which gets my children prompt again. So I actually have those covered twice. Oops, put them down here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to make a little bow out of some baker's twine. To go in the top. Nothing spectacular. And this is how I make my bows for tags, regardless of whether it's Baker's Twine or Sorry Silk or whatever. It's kind of a cheap way out, but. It works, and I think it looks good. I just loop back and forth however many times I feel like I need to make it kind of poofy, however poofy I want it. Baker Swan, I normally do four, um, at least. And then I'll just cut it off. And then I'm going to take, pinch that in the middle. I'm going to lay it down here. I'm going to take my piece that I've already put through the hole. And I'm just going to tie a double knot. And the reason I like to do it that way is I think it lays nice and flat. And it still you know, has a nice bow effect, but it's not all poofy to where if you put it in your journal, it's going to, you know, take up a whole lot of real estate. Okay, so that simple, we have our uh, favorite holiday character. He's there. We have a card here. We have a card here. And you could even glue this down and do another tag there if you wanted to. And then we have our children. So we've got our prompts covered, and this week's 50 Stack Challenge is in the books. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was short and sweet, and um, I think we accomplished what we needed to. And I will see you guys back on Sunday for a general um, journal with me session. Until then, bye.